Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to another stout review. Uh, another Founders beer. We drank Founders Breakfast Stout last night. Tonight we're checking out a KBS variant that I bought last year and I never got to. So this is KBS Chocolate Cherry. Founders is in Michigan. Grand Rapids, I think. I almost said Kalamazoo, but that's Bells, right? <laughs> Uh, this is pretty label, 11.6% alcohol by volume. Uh, this is KBS with basically chocolate and cherries. Let's see here. Barrel aged Imperial Stout with coffee, chocolate, chocolate syrup, cherry, and cherry extract. So um, I don't know why I bought this. I'm not really big into fruited stouts. What is on this glass? Um... I don't, I don't, I don't know why I bought it. I just did. I think because I had bought the, what was the, there was a KBS variant. I think it was last year. That was awesome. Maple Mackinac fudge. Maybe this was with it and I bought both of them. I don't know. So, uh, bottled on December 6th of 2022. So almost a year in the bottle. So we're probably not giving this beer a fair shake <laughs> since it's been aged for a year, but you know what? This is what we do in December. We go through our cellar and we drink beers that we forgot about so um breakfast stout was fine it was super coffee forward so maybe with this one it'll be with the age the coffee will have died off a little bit and we can get some other flavors out of it um i don't think breakfast stout is put into bourbon barrels and then becomes kbs i don't think that's right i don't know i don't care maybe somebody can chime in i think kbs is a completely different beer than breakfast stop. I don't know. KBS is fine. Um, I used to chase it back in the day. There was no reason to do that. <laughs> I mean, it was okay. There was, I mean, there was a time because we didn't get founders in Southern California. People were asking like $40 for a 12 ounce bottle of KBS and like, you guys are fucking insane. But, um, yeah, I don't know if KBS is whatever. Is KBS still like a big deal? I have no idea. Probably not. There's no way KBS is still a big deal. So, uh, this beer looks very much like breakfast out. Uh, it's pitch black in the glass. It poured Fairly dark. Uh, it was kind of cola-ish in the bright light. Finger of um, a khaki head. Last night's beer had like three fingers of crazy marshmallow head. This one does not. And it's got the little ruby red tinge at the bottom. So using our Kevin McAllister permanent hangover glass all December because it's festive. I love it. Let's see what this smells like. It smells very chocolatey, much like breakfast stout. There is a sweetness to it. Um, I would never be able to tell you it's cherries that I'm smelling. Um, I always, a lot of time, I equate uh, cherries in a like a beer as like medicinal, and I never really liked it, unless I'm drinking like a um, cherry sour. What are those called? Fram Frambois? Is that right? I don't know. I have noticed that drinking whiskey over the last year or so, I've noticed more cherry. I really like cherry and whiskey, but I never liked cherry in stouts. But this just smells very chocolatey. Um, I don't get any barrel characteristic. I don't get any like bourbon presence. It just smells like a super sweet chocolatey stout. Not much else, but it's a year in the bottle. Cheers. So this has kind of a cool, like maraschino cherry thing on the finish. Um, but you can tell even though it has faded and you don't smell it and you don't really taste it, there is a good amount of coffee bitterness in this beer, which is kind of off-putting for me. Again, with this beer, it smells very chocolatey, very like, I mean, it says chocolate syrup, very chocolate syrupy, but the chocolate doesn't come through um, as much on the flavor. It's pretty crazy too. This one, much like breakfast out, it's on the thin side. There's just no barrel characteristic to this beer. And it's bothering me. If you're going to age a beer in bourbon barrels, I want to taste the barrel in it. Um, this is just tastes like kind of a generic coffee stout with that bitterness there there's that maraschino cherry kind of sweetness on the finish of it but 
yeah, this is just, I don't know. I, there's not a whole lot to it. Is it too cold? I don't think it's that cold. I wish, again with this one, I wish it tasted like what it smelled like. It smells so like chocolatey and it just doesn't take, that chocolate flavor just doesn't come through. I'm surprised how thin this is too for 11, almost 12%. I will say it does not drink hot. It doesn't taste like booze, which is nuts. But yeah, this tastes like uh, just a standard. If you gave this to me blind, I would never be able to tell you this is a barrel aged stout. No way. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell you from the barrel characteristic. There is none. It's not like a full mouth feel. It's not super chewy. It doesn't drink like a 12% beer. It's pretty thin. There's just nothing about this beer that says it's been sitting in bourbon barrels. So it just tastes like a coffee beer that has some sort of sweetness on the back end of it. I just, I know since it says cherry juice, I'm saying maraschino cherries because that's what it reminds me of. Just knowing that it's cherries. If I didn't know there was cherries in this, there's no way I'd be able to tell you it was cherries. I would just say it tastes like sweet coffee. So um, yeah, this is a forgettable beer. I think I paid like seven bucks for this bottle, which sucks, <laughs> but um, I mean, it's not bad. It's just nothing like who cares. That's what this beer is. Who cares? <laughs> so um, I kind of wish now I would have drank it fresh last year, but such is life. I forgot about it. Found it in my fridge, drank it a year later. It's my own fault. So um, I just, it, it, there's just so much left to be desired with this beer. It smells good though. So we'll leave it at that. You guys can tell me if this beer was awesome fresh. Um, not anything special or great with a year on it. So that's KBS chocolate cherry. I'm kind of bummed in back to back stout reviews, not bummed, but just not, I don't know. We started off with bourbon County 2013 and like, this is going to be a freaking amazing month. And then we've had back to back kind of meh beers. So we got to get back on track. We'll do it. So, uh, that's it. I'm out of here. See you guys soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar, in the arcade, all that shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.